Rolling, 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 rolling. Yeah. Rolling, 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 rolling. Come on. Rolling, 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 rolling. Good. Rolling, 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 rolling. Move in and move out. Hands up, hands down. Back up, back up. Tell me what you're going to do now. Keep. Now breathe out. Hey, everyone. Uh, now, you may have noticed that my usual co-presenter of WWE questions you most want answered isn't here today. Do you know where he is, Ben? He's on holiday. He is. I, I, think, he's in, I think he's in Italy. Yeah, on an eating adventure, from what I understand. That's what he said, didn't he? Mm. Anyway, so I'm joined by Ben. Hi, everyone. At confused underscore dude. Yeah, follow me on Twitter, please. Yeah. That'd be great. I'm not as I'm not as good as Adam Blompier, but I'm no going to try... As... No one is. It's very annoying because he's such a loser in real life. What a dick. But he's so cool on camera. It's just, I don't know how he's done it. Yeah. No, I don't. I doubt uh, many people have actually heard his real speaking voice as well. Go on. Because <laughs> the one he does to camera is totally different. As soon as he gets off, he sort of, he sounds like a small mouse. Man. Hello. Hello, madam. All right. <laughs> Do you want to go and play some board games? That's how he sounds. That's him. Question the first. Yes. Um, Reese McGinley, and I thought this was a nice one just to kind of, because Ben's a gamer lad yeah. from the gaming channel, What Culture Gaming. Mm. But for those of you who don't know, Ben's also a wrestling fan. So Reese McGinley says, what, what got Ben into wrestling? Oh, that's an excellent question. Um, I didn't really watch wrestling in, in the 90s when everyone else did, because uh, I didn't have Sky and I wasn't allowed. Um, but my cousins did. And uh, I remember every time we'd go and visit my cousins, they'd have the wrestling games. And I particularly remember SmackDown Here Comes the Pain right. with Brock Lesnar on the cover. Mm. And I was like, who is this man? How does he physically exist? This is impossible. Look at the size of him. He's like an upside down triangle. It shouldn't be, shouldn't be allowed. It's silly, isn't like it, really? That. It's outrageous. Someone mm. should have a word. <laughs> and uh, and I, I was terrible at the game. But then they showed me some, they had a couple of DVDs with Rey Mysterio on and Lesnar and Chris Benoit and Eddie Guerrero. And, and I was like... The Smackdown boys. It seems like you were a Smackdown amazing, guy. Kind of. You're on the blue I, brand. Sort of. I didn't watch Smackdown. Though, but um, I did then play the subsequent games after that and sort of started to obsess. And then I tuned out until about 2012, around the whole CM Punk stuff. And then I, then I actually made an effort to start watching. Well, that's very good. I'm glad I've never known that before. I assumed yeah. that because you're slightly, very slightly older, you would have been an Attitude Era kid like, like myself. like a couple of months. Is right? it? When was your birthday? Uh, my, my birthday's next weekend. Is it? Yeah. I've not heard about and that. And then three days later, I'm getting a tattoo with Plumpy on it. It was very pleasant. I mean, this has gone a lot better. We, me and Blompier would already have fallen out immediately by this point, but it's going all we right. We can fall out. Oh. I'm happy to do that. We'll keep it all right. For, we'll keep it on the level. Just let now. me know. Just, just do that, and then I'll like, I'll, I'll you punch, go for me. I'll punch you or something, and then we'll, we'll take it from there. Uh, ben Moncada. I, I'm familiar with Ben. We've interacted upon Twitter quite a lot. Okay. He's a nice man. Very nice man. Okay. Uh, he did a video once about ten reasons I'm better than Adam Blompier. Blompier. <laughs> right. Blompier didn't agree. That's. That's silly. It's another reason why he's a total nerd. Ben says, not Ben, Blum, Plumpy. Plumpy. Ben says, would you rather, now this is a good idea, I think, would you rather WrestleMania was as it is now, like a big seven hour show, mm -hmm. or a two day show, smaller Ooh. shows in two days? It kind of already is that though with NXT, uh, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I guess. And you're already having to wade through an entire week of, of airless coverage, where you're desperately trying to get out, but you can't. Everywhere you look, it's WrestleMania. It seems to me like you don't like the sound of WrestleMania very no, much. No, I do like WrestleMania. It's just, it's better to watch with people. Yes. And this past one, I was watching with a uh, fellow gamer lad, Jules. Oh, yeah. And uh, we actually obeyed the drinking rules that were posted on the What Culture Twitter. No one follows what that. What Culture WWE. What happened? We nearly died. Right, right, right. We added right. in some more rules, in fact, for the, uh, the Lesnar match. We were going to add a, uh, take a drink every time the word beast is mentioned. And, of course, that, that promo with Heyman mentioned Beast about 15 times in about a minute and a half. Bloody Nora. I know. What a what a couple of wild kids. I don't like um I don't like watching wrestling with like people who don't know about wrestling. It sounds harsh because you want to get people involved and stuff. Mm -hmm. I like watching it with people who know nothing about it. That's right. fun. I like watching wrestling with people who know nothing about it. But are open to it. Yes. Yeah. But I don't like watching it with people who know a little bit about it. No enough to, like, to dislike it very much. No one learned, like, like, like me and Sam the other day, or, well, about a month ago now, ran into this guy, and he was playing the Bejeweled game, the wrestling Bejeweled game on his phone. I didn't even know that yeah, existed. Not, okay. And we were, he was like, oh, oh, it was me and Pachi, sorry. And he was like, um, oh, I love wrestling me, like, lads, oh, I love it. And, is, that, um, is that what he sounds oh, like? I, I love wrestling me, like. 
used to watch it all the time when I was a kid. Me and Pachita didn't want to be like, we're actually experts in wrestling. We didn't want to do <laughs> well, that. Let so me tell you something. He was talking about like something. And he was like, oh, I pure love that. Like when you remember when Austin was like proper mint and that. And then I was like, yeah. And then he turned bad, didn't he? And joined WCW. And went, no, I don't think you ever did that. Like, and I was like, oh my god, it's actually not mine. That's Ross's. That sounds expensive. It's a, it's intact. Right, the jewels nearly fell uh, out. The uh, real jewels. Uh, Ross on wrestling. Oh, Jack, oh three your scepter. Jack, just three your scepter on the floor. Mm. Oh my god. Question the third. <laughs> yeah. Kabiak, 316. Okay. Who has the greatest in ring gear, past and present, in WWE? Oh. Mm. Eddie Guerrero's got some I pretty good tights, yeah. right? And I like when he used to wear his gold boots. Mm. He had gold, black tights, gold boots. Yes. And then that, uh, that gold and green flames. Mm -hmm. That was good. I like those. Latino like Heat, that. right? No, that was right. That. I like Ronald Mysterio. His, uh, Ray Mysterio, sorry. I was just being a knob. Uh, Ray Mysterio with his little eagle um, eagle mask and his, his cool pantaloons. And then he'd like, who's that jumping out the sky? R.E.Y. Mysterio. Here we go. Uh, Macho Man Randy Savage, mm -hmm. a classic. Looked great. What do you think of uh, Brutus uh, the, the Barber Beefcake? Rubbish. <laughs> Rubbish, right? Rubbish. What was What was with the strips? The... Well, he's barber. Yeah, I know, but... You know when you go down the hairdressers, do they not wear... Yeah, not take a bit off my shirt as well, please. <laughs> Just little strips. No, he wasn't a customer. His, his gimmick was that he was a barber. He wasn't... He didn't frequent the barbers. Yeah, I know, but he so does he hair. just... Does he do that to himself before all his matches? Yeah. Although I love this T-shirt. I'm just going to f***ing ruin it with, with these shears. That's his aesthetic, isn't it? That's what all the Twitter kids are saying these days. My aesthetic is Bruce, Bruce Barber Beefcake Rip Shirt. Aesthetic means? Oh, God, it know. means the look of something. I hate Twitter. Follow me on Twitter. Uh -huh. I'm trying to think of who else. John Cena has a pretty timeless style with his jorts. Uh, You'll never of, see that repeated. Speaking of watching wrestling, right, with mm. people who don't know anything about wrestling, I was watching it with my best friend Tom, right? Yes. Uh, I, I met Tom, right? Yeah. I think I've met Tom. In uh, in uh, Dapo. Yes. And you said, hey, you, you two, two you two will get on. You which two is will what, get on. You both breathe oxygen. Which No, that's not what I said. It's what, it's what puts two people immediately under pressure, though, isn't it? You two will get on so oh, well. Like, God, fuck. Hey, Tom. Uh, no, Tom's, such pressure. You did get on with Tom, I seem to remember. Of course, Tom was lovely. Big into his video him, James. I asked him lots of questions about things. Video James. Um, God, where was I? Can I have a nice cut there, please? <laughs> um, what was I even? Oh, yeah. So I was watching wrestling with Tom. Yes. Uh, and he wasn't aware that John Cena actually wrestled in the jorts. He thought he just he wore thought he them. He took them off. He thought he took them off and had like, trunks underneath. I don't think I've ever seen John Cena in trunks. Cause I've he, never he seen the top little, of his... He wore uh, little shorty things, didn't he? In, for a bit. Uh, OVW. Ruthless aggression. aggression. <laughs> uh, currently, I think that Rollins looks really cool. Right, now this one's a bit deeper. This is from Steve slash at Two Beats Apart. The term legend is thrown around a lot, but what earns someone legendary status? Ooh. Um, the term legend is thrown around a lot. I think you have to have... Um, have to have, it's particularly in wrestling, have wrestled for a long time. Yeah. Or have done something innovative. Or have been retired for a long time as well, maybe? I, I don't yeah. think necessarily just retiring or becoming injured and, and having to leave makes you a legend, but I can't think of too many people. Do you even that, have to be good? Do you even have to be good to be a legend? Like, legends now on the video games are like Sergeant Slaughter, you know? I suppose so, but he was, I don't know, maybe, maybe it's more because they were involved in memorable. Storylines? Yeah. Right? Nasty yeah. Sergeant Slaughter. Uh, riddle me this. Go on, then. Batman. Who will we look back on in this era as the legends later? I mean, John John chayner has got to be one. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, he has, yeah. Um, who's currently wrestling? I think all of the S.H.I.E.L.D. Yeah, all of the S.H.I.E.L.D. are going to be, yeah, absolutely. But then you've got people like Dolph Ziggler, who I think will be looked back on fondly, but may not be remembered as a legend. Perhaps that won't be fair, but I don't think he's really, yeah. besides that, cash in on the Raw after Mania. I don't know if there is enough there to really push him into that. Maybe the Miz. That envelope. Maybe it's going that way, right? Mm. Um, Maybe Bala, if he continues to go as he does. Yes. Um, Owens. Owens will be a legend. Kevin yes. Owens is going to be yeah, Owens. a big old ledge. Bloody ledge. He always any, gets the drinks in. Sorry. Any lady ledges? You can think yeah, of? yeah, all the four of them. <laughs> They're them four. Them four. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, maybe also Alexa, she's really good. Yeah. And she's not great in the ring, but she's really good. I want Emma to be a legend. 
She she won't be, but I like Emma Such a, a lot. Such a bias towards Emma. I love Emma. And Ty. And Ty, yeah. Ty they had a child it. and they grew up, would they be the ultimate legend? Yes. Right. I think so. Why Emma? I don't know. I just think she. I liked her when she did the stupid bubble. I bubble knew you were gonna like. And I like the, the, the aviators. I like the aviators. It's my attempt at her. What's that? And our final question. Yeah. At the Taj show. Do caterpillars know that they are destined to be butterflies? No, in so much that you and I don't know that we're probably at some point today going to have to like do a bowel movement. You just, when it starts to happen, it just happens, right? At that point, you know. But you don't think ahead like, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a bowel movement later today. It's more of a, I need to do a bowel movement now. So you think that caterpillars will know, like, they'll look at their parents and they'll be like, Papa, why are your wings so big? And why have I got zero wings? I don't know if, if, if pa the papa pillars hang around. For the uh, for the baby caterpillars, I think they just bugger off. Whoa! There needs to be some right. kind of Jeremy Kyle in intervention here. <laughs> you think? I'm joined now by uh, <laughs> Papa Pillar and Mama Pillar. And there's the Flap it on. <laughs> Boo! <laughs> just throwing stuff at them. <laughs> We're accused of abandoning the baby pillar. Jerry, Jer just floating about. <laughs> just get back here and pay your benefit. <laughs> he tries to yeah, tries to get them to pay. They just fly away. <laughs> Fly away. Oh. No, I don't think they do know because you're anthropomorphizing insects, and that's stupid. What? I was thought you were I thought you were all whimsical How like myself. Dang. I thought you were gonna, Blomie would have taken this question so seriously. I know. I'm not because I'm not <coughs> Blompier or <coughs> Plumpy. <coughs> I'm just a knockoff cheap equivalent. Whoa! Don't say. That. Well, they're saying it. I see them down down there. You've got less infuriating lips. Lips yeah. Go to the right before we leave. Okay. You know that we put a video up, which is his little bit at uh, Internet Darlings in Orlando. Okay. And the thumbnail is him with the mic there, ready to say something, and his lips and his mouth are just. Mate, what is this? Do you, do they just? I've watched that video and I've ragged on it on Twitter because it was. He was just making rubbish little jokes, which he'd obviously had to write very quick. I'm not blaming him. Was this Ro the Roman Reigns thing? Yeah. I quite like that. Just all the Americans, not, well, and they weren't all American, just all of the Blompier fan is just kind of... <laughs> Should that have been you? Is that the problem? No, I couldn't have done it. I'd have, you know, I'd have been out of place, but still. Right, so what's the problem? Then? There's lips and that. Is it just the lips? Is it, is it, he goes like what this, he's like, like Matthew goes, from Botchmania goes, and now we go to Adam Blompier. And Adam Blompier's like, with his shorts on, his big legs. Do you just f off? Do you just, you just kind of want to kiss him a bit? No, he always is tries that the problem? to, no, he always tries to kiss him. Is that why you have a problem with the lips? What's the real issue? So that's here? all the of, for this week on WWE questions you most want answered. We always go off track a bit. Are you like this? Can't, can't, <laughs> I've been Jack from WhatCulture.com. No, come on! I, I thought one week without him wouldn't get all uncomfortable. I don't see why it's uncomfortable. Oh, it's the voice and the proximity. I've been Jack from WhatCulture.com. I've been Ben from WhatCulture.com. You can follow us on Twitter. You can, and um, we'll see you soon.